and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 61.6 kilograms and trains under Ben Vickers out of Scrappy MMA in Perth, Western Australia. Making his professional debut tonight inside the Eternal Cage. Put your hands together, make some noise for Darcy Spower. And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 61.6 kilograms and trains under Brenton Mumford out of CMBT Training Center. Making his professional debut inside the Eternal Cage, make some noise for the bringer of rain, Huani Sewu. If you can see it, you can feel it. It's Selwyn in the red corner. Taking on Spowart in the blue. Three five-minute rounds. Eternal Bands away division to near an eighth and cage side with Carl. No Kyle. Hard and fast start for Selwyn thus far. Ooh, both guys taking no time to feel each other out. Straight into it straight away. I love to see it. Keep him guessing. Hawani just taking a little bit more control of the ring now. The cage, sorry. A smile on his face the whole time, too, T. Well, both of these guys are incredibly experienced at the amateur level, and you can see that they've made the transi transition rather to being a professional mixed martial artist very smoothly, Kyle. Yeah, both guys look very confident there. You can also see Darcy still looks confident. He's still nice kick by Darcy. Nice and sharp, Hawani. Nice sharp punch there from Hawani. He's going to be great success for that jab early, T. He is indeed, and the pressure Ooh. is starting to mount up, and just as Spell starts to press forward off the cage, straight down the middle with a straight right hand goes Wani. I was just about to say that jab's going to come in good for when he wants to unload with that right hand. <laughs> you said it first, Carl. No. <laughs> <laughs> he beat me to it, though, T. He's faster than me. Abs <laughs> couldn't, couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> distance, distance. A jab landing. It's a strong jab. Boxing 101 on full display here at Eternal 67. And you can hear Ben Vickers imploring Darcy to do the same, to work the jab. Fight fire with fire here, Kyle. Yeah, and he does. He really has to start establishing his own jab, try to control that range a little bit. He's a bit taller. He should be trying to control that range or close it up altogether. He's losing this bout on the outside right now. He unloads some punches of his own. He's got his mouth open a lot too, though, T. See how wide his mouth is right yeah, now? That indeed. could be some trouble with him. Well, I don't know if he's breathing heavy or if that's uh, courtesy of the volume from Juani Selwyn, but in your own words, Kyle, not the best idea. No, it just it leaves the jaw a bit vulnerable, you know, it's very loose that way. He could just have a big mouth guard. <laughs> Wani's doing a great job of control right now, though. Establishing that jab, and, and he's able to really pick that right hand. Beautiful shot there as he loses his control. A bit of balance. <laughs> well, he put everything into that one. <laughs> the recoil on that was big. You see the blood starting to come to Hawani's stomach there from one of them kicks. <laughs> Goodness me. It's a game of inches, Carl. Both guys look sharp. Very dangerous at every spot. Oh, yes, big overhand right. I was just going to say, Carl, Selwyn going to the body to set up to go to the head. And again, he beat me to it as well. <laughs> discipline. Discipline. Just, oh, that is huge. Distance, he's doing distance. a great job of disguising where his punches are coming from. He's using that jab to establish it and then throwing something heavy behind it. Jeez, Darcy has a fair chin on him, doesn't he? he sure does. He's taking some big shots. Those body shots are going to pay off for Darcy too with those body kicks. If you can keep landing them, that sucks a little bit of wind out of you each time. Hawani calling him on, though, each time. Well, he's talking to him, Kyle. He's doing a great job of controlling the fight. He should be talking. Confidence building for Hawani. And he, li literally, Kyle, he is swinging for the fences inside. It's like he eats a hard shot and he goes, oh, i got more. He can land his own. He looks to control that jab again. Just brush that kick out of the way, control that jab. From someone who likes talking, Carl, I'll ask you, is, is it disturbing at all fighting someone who likes to talk, who even gives you compliments inside the cage? Does it throw you off at all, or do you think Darcy's just taking it all in his stride? I can throw some guys. I think Darcy's just taking it in his stride, though. I've seen it all. I've seen guys talk and laugh, and I've actually sung in a fight before, too, but we won't get into that right now. Oh, beautiful kick. Wow. 
the way and says, okay. Oh, nice right hand there, straight down the pipe. And why he's doing a good job of mixing up high, low, body shots, head shots. Trying to bring them hands down to land that big overhand right. And you said it to you, he's got a great boxing skill. Oh, he does. He's, he's got that boxing background. He's, he's been doing this a while. 27 years age, 27 years of age rather, 27 years young is Juan Selwyn. Just coming into the uh, prime of his career. And what better time to transition to a professional MMA mixed martial artist, Kyle. Stiff jab there by Darcy Lance Flush. And that's that jab that Darcy's calling. UFC Fight Pass. Dot com to sign up now. Go. Claire Fryer signals us underway for round number two. I would love to hear what uh, Darcy's corner had to say to him between rounds. And I wonder if they saw that leg that he's sort of limping on. Or not limping, but just walking a bit gingerly. We'll see if they saw it or not by how many leg kicks he throws. There we go. There we go. You know it's coming. You know it's I think coming. they picked up on it, T. Well, indeed they did. And Darcy's picked up on it as well. Look for Darcy to, uh, Hands up. as you said, Kyle, attack that lead leg of, of Hawani. I'm sure no doubt Ben Vickers would have been giving him some sound advice. Take away the lead leg, you take away the jab. Absolutely, and take away the power as well. Oh, nice jab by Darcy. Darcy having more success with that jab in this second round. Make him think, Hawani. Make him think. Wani still controlling the octagon though, or the cage, sorry. Bring some reactions out of him, Wani. Keeping pressure on him, making his back against the cage, not giving Darcy too much room to move. Staying in front of him, just pouring away, throwing, mixing it up between fast and slow strikes, heavy, doing a good job with that jab. See, he doesn't give Darcy too much room to move, that back's always against the cage. This is a better round from Spout in round number two. Seems to be solving that jab with a parry. Again, Carl attacking that lead leg. Yeah, they've definitely picked up on that lead leg and they're going for it. And that's another thing too. If he can start attacking that lead leg, let him think that he's going to finish him with that come high with a kick as we saw just there. Absolutely. Scrappy MMA giving sound advice again. And you expect that coming from a gym like Scrappy MMA too, that those guys are on it. I totally agree with you. Lower your level, Hwani. Speaking of the gyms, it's a battle of the gyms inside the cage. CMBT <laughs> up against Scrappy MMA. Two phenomenal gyms here in Australia. Two definitely. of the best. Yeah, two of the best, absolutely. A wealth of experience in the corners of Spell and Selwyn as he presses the action. Lead left hook lands for Hwani. Look at that well for me on, on Hawani's leg as well. Halfway through, Hawani, halfway through. Nice switch right hand again. Two nice jab, switch jab, right hook as well. Be ready for a shot, Hawani, be ready for a shot. Discipline with your distance now, Hawani. In and out, in and out. Lower your level. Hawani's call a corner calling for discipline in and out. He's doing a great job listening to his corner as well. In and out, in and out. Two more minutes, two more minutes to work. Yeah. Nice better round from both guys this time. Darcy actually improved in this round. Well, I was just going to say, he almost it's seems to have uh, improved his boxing in between, in between <laughs> rounds, if that's even possible. He seems to have made it possible. Has Darcy spout. Ooh. And right on cue, nice. left hook followed by a rear high kick. And he goes low again, Kyle, just as you said. Taking that leg away. Beautiful work by Darcy. Very impressed by this. And these guys just making their pro debut as well, and they look this good. Yeah, it's incredible what we're seeing on display here. Eternal MMA, Australia's premier mixed martial arts organization. They continue to progress heights to height as each fight card progresses throughout the year. None more so than what we're seeing here in our first pro fight at Eternal 67. Same switching stances now. That leg's really taking a toll. Taking some punishment, T. Oh, indeed it is. And it's a telling tale when uh, your opponent switches stances more often than is expected. Great 
Great work from both guys, though. Very impressive. Control the distance, Hawaii. Passing now, starting to get a bit more control. You can see that he's starting to get out from behind the cage now. His back's not against the cage as much. He's starting to take a little bit more control. Well, they're, important. they're imploring Darcy to throw in the corner of square the MMA, but instead, it's Heine Selwyn who seems to be taking that advice on board. He's taking advice from both corners. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking good as Selwyn. As we count down the final 10 seconds of round number two. You can see now the fight's progressed to being more in the center of the cage, though. So Darcy is climbing back a little bit. He's taking away from their first victory as a professional. And you only make your debut as a pro once, don't you, Colin? <laughs> exactly. I want that to be Victoria, too. Will it be Selwyn or Spowett kickstarting their professional career in the right way? Is that jab again? Always just pumping that jab in his face and letting him control. Not letting Darcy come in too close. Well, it's threatening, isn't it, Kyle? It is, even if he's not landing with it, he's saying, here I am, here's the distance, and then he judges his own right hand off that. Hands up for that Yes, sir. Beautiful. Nice, Darcy there coming on the inside as he threw a hook. Great vision there by Darcy. Lower that level. Lower that level. Nice, Ryan is corner asking him to lower the level. I've been looking for a takedown. It'd be a smart decision at this point in the fight as well. Let's wait and see. No doubt it would catch Darcy by surprise, considering the fight has been on the feet for the entirety of the two rounds, Kyle. Yeah, both guys not really looking to take this fight to the ground. Both have confidence in their stand-up. And what an exciting fight it's been as well. Nice, very sharp work by Darcy. I love his hands are straight back to his chin after each strike. He's defensively sound. Is Darcy Spout. Keep him pushing back. Keep him pushing back to us. Although these jabs aren't landing that much, they're still adding up in the judges' scorecards. Yeah, volume, Kyle. High volume. Darcy looks a little bit sharper at this point, though, landing the strongest strikes. There's that outside leg kick again. Beautiful shot. Darcy trying to fake and faint to bring his hands down. The crowd's calling for Hawani to push it up. They are getting behind their man here on the Gold Coast. The crowd here at the Gold Coast Sports Precinct getting behind Selwyn as we approach the halfway mark of round number three. Stiff jab lands for Spout once again, followed by another. Wow, perfect jab. He's starting to look more relaxed now. A lot more confidence in this third and final round. See what he can do with the team. Well, he's a tough man. I mean, Hawani is definitely, as you said, landing the more significant strikes, but it's Darcy. It's starting to find his rhythm here in round three. Look at that head move, just bobbing out of the way of each strike. He's really found his rhythm now. He's been an unsuccessful spin back elbow, but I like the vision. Nice teeth there up the middle. Beautiful call, that high parry wow. to the stiff jab. Wow. Oh. Just missed with that left hook then. Darcy's taking over control now. Darcy's got Hawani's back on the fence. He's really putting the pressure on him now, this third and final round. It's possible that Darcy could have been waiting for these moments at the later stages of round three. And with 90 seconds left, he's still got a lot of time to work as well. He does indeed. I think if one of these guys goes for a takedown, just to solidify the round. Neither now it's Darcy working on the body, <laughs> wow! Neither one of these guys want to take down though, I think. I think they're happy to see who's going to win this on the feet. Well, here oh. comes Spout. Oh. He's calling Hawani on here as we count down the final minute of round number three. 
Darcy still calling him down. What a round for Darcy Spout. He finds his second wind in round three. <laughs> and as you said, Carl, this takedown could prove to be the difference in this fight. Spout on top. Darcy with some heavy ground and pound there. He needs to posture up now. He seems to have more energy. Think posture up and unload here. Do a good thing to win, win the fight for him. Hawaii doing a good job of controlling that, not letting him posture up, not letting him land any heavy ground and pound. So be careful, those elbows, one of them almost 12 to 6. Not long to go now. Final six. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of back and forth action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest, 29-28, Spout. Judge two scores the contest, 29-28, Selwyn. And Judge 3 scores the contest, 29-28, for your winner via split decision in the red corner, the bringer of rain, Hawaii.